everybody. Um, this is a mail opening review test. Hi. That's Daryl in the background. Mail yes, opening review test of a particular item. I know what's in it. Okay. Um, my friend Amanda at Eclectic Scribbles has Amanda just started. Loves Amanda loves you. She does. Yeah, because she says to me. She does. Yeah. Shush has just started making her own watercolours and she's been doing a subscription and if you were lucky enough to get in the first box oh that's my colour roll she sent me a colour roll because I said I didn't have one thank you sweetie yay um if you were lucky enough to get you you know in the first lot of orders you got a personalised tin it feels so dinky it's, it is small dinky? enough to fit in my hand this is so cool um, I'm really, really looking forward to this, and it's upside down, I can tell. So, the question is, did it survive from the US to England? <gasps> that is, so, I don't know how well you can see, but that is not only my name, although, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not too sure about the full name here, Amanda, mm, but it's in sparkly. I love that. Oh, so do I. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's so awesome. And then on the oh, <laughs> on the bottom, she's got her own eclectic scribbles and another one that says, I love your face. I love your face too, honey. She loves oh, me. Just come off. I want to stick it in my journal. <laughs> Hang on while I just shut my phone up. Right. And in here. Oh, it's a little hinged lid and she's provided a little water card. <gasps> it's so small. There's little magnets so that I can stick them in if I wish to. Now, two of these are ones that I ordered separately that were sold separately in a shop and the rest are all part of the kit. So I'm just going to stick that back there. Oh my God, they're so cute. These are so dinky. So we have Venetian Red, Puddin, <gasps> Blue Lagoon, Mommy. Violet Daydream, Brilliant Yellow, and I have no idea how you pronounce that. Is it Thalo? Th I don't know. Um, I think these two were my extra ones and these four were the part of the kit. So, thankfully, Amanda's been very nice to send me a six-section card, which actually does fit. So, I just have to figure out, I, I'm assuming the paints will hopefully fit that way as well. Let's try, shall we? Just for, you know, the sake of science. Let's take all my little magnets out. Let's see how well six fit in here. So I was a bit worried because I know she was only doing a four kit for yep all six will fit okay and they fit quite well actually so yeah they do fit quite well time to open them that's a really nice tin actually I'm going to test them in my scribbles that matter Excuse the um, huffing and puffing behind me. He's got pizza and he says it's a bit hot. Yeah. But I blow it. You're blowing on it, are you? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. These are stuck on here so well that I ripped them getting it off. Amanda, I can't get into the bloody thing. <laughs> you stuck this down well, lovey, which is great because it means it's not going to unwrap in transport not so great when you have nails like mine and that's all sticking to me Daryl could you stop the over exaggerated puffing please it's right well she's put the name on the side of the thing So there you go, Blue Lagoon, lovely. All right, I'm going to open all of these and then we will 
test them out. Oh, that's a bit sticky. Is that right? That's labelled as blue, but it's like purple. Did you label that right? <laughs> Is that supposed to be that colour? Oh, yeah, the yellow's not come through very well either. The yellow's a bit sticky as well, just so you know. Now, I'm sure some advice Amanda gave was that if you found it to be very sticky, to go and stick it in the freezer or something. I can't remember, so I'm going to have to triple check with her on that one. And my dad gets to do lots of stuff. She's giving me lots of stuff, isn't she? It's good, isn't it? That's very nice of Amanda. That's very nice of Amanda. And pudding is very, very goopy as well. So some of these got a little bit goopy on the way. I'm going to test them in my scribbles that matter. We'll do them over here and then we can test how well they cope. Puddles well. <gasps> oh, that is stunning. Oh, Amanda, that is a gorgeous colour. <gasps> she did you a blue colour. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. That is really, really pretty. That's really pretty, Amanda. Let's you try Violet stuff. Daydreams next. Smell them just ever so slightly, but that might just be me. Oh, that's nice. So, this one obviously moved a little bit during transport. Some of these I can really smell, like that one I can smell. It's weird, isn't it? What do you smell, Mark? Oh, wow, that is a stunning colour. It is like, oh, it's gorgeous. That is so dark. Mama. And it is blue. <laughs> it looks purple in the pan, but it comes out blue. That's very clever, that one. Wow, doesn't want to come off the brush either. Let's do red next. This one is a little bit goopy. Let's try and get it from the edge. Oh, this is like um, like a sort of terracotta almost. This is a very, very browny red. <laughs> I'm going to do pudding last because that is just so cool. Yeah, this yeah. one, I don't know what's happened, but it's sort of bubbled around the edges. I like that one. The bubble is my I've got a little bit of blue still on the brush, so it's going to come out a bit green, I'm afraid. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, bearing in mind, this has probably got a little bit of blue. That's really bright, that one. I mean, I'm not a huge lover of yellow, but that is just... It goes down really, really nice, and it goes on forever, the yellow. But I did put quite a lot on to try and lose the blue. This is when normal paintbrushes. A pot of water would have been better. Now I'm going to try pudding. So this is chocolate. Oh, this is a lot lighter than I was expecting. I was expecting like a really dark. I was expecting that to be a lot darker, I will admit, but it's actually really nice. And my mummy is to play cards. 
Okay, so that's all of the ones that she sent me. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Uh, I like them. Love the first two. I'm going to write their names down so you can see what they all are. love those three the brilliant yellow is right that's just the, the yeah amazingly bright um i'm gonna allow these to settle down after their trip and um firm back up i'm also gonna ask amanda whether they should be chucked in the fridge or something just to help firm them up again and then they will be placed in the tin i will do the wee card i'll stick that in as well just so i know which is which and um yeah yeah definitely we can see me using those three and that one that'd be great for like brickwork and stuff the yellow well that's sunshine isn't it the pudding like i said i was expecting that to be a little bit darker more chocolate like but that's the only one that i'm a bit like oh that wasn't what i was expecting it's still a great color i'm not sure what i would use it for yet but the others i can see me using that is very mermaidy those two together so yeah so there you go um yeah quite pleased with that as a as a first kit that's that's absolutely brilliant um yeah really really pleased uh, i hope you enjoyed this please feel free to leave me a thumbs up if you click the book you'll be subscribed and if you click the bell you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so much for watching um in the interests of um full disclosure i paid for these pence they were not sent to me free i did actually pay for them i joined amanda subscription club uh this is an honest review based on my personal opinion okay hope you'll have a great day bye